Beyonce bringing the animated classic to life almost gives you chills, doesn't it? You know, it's a little intimidating. <laughs> Just hearing her do it has been like, man, this is it's a really it's a really special thing. Singing alongside Simba, Queen Bee's embraced her role as the grown-up Nala, but it's the look of this almost frame-for-frame live-action remake that might end up being the main attraction here. Just ask one of the hyenas, aka Keegan Michael Key. The photorealistic treatment they've given to it is amazing. It's more dangerous, more grave, more funny, and the more Beyonce. More and more Beyonce. This thing's gonna make us quadrillion dollars. This reboot hits theaters next month, but you gotta love Disney's timing, cause today marks the 25th anniversary of the original film's premiere. Back then, Matthew Broderick told us why he was only Simba's speaking voice and didn't sing in the movie. I recorded it twice, but then they they elected not to use my recordings. It means no worries for the rest of your days. But it's very like pop kind of uh, singing that I, I didn't quite pull off. I guess. This time around, Donald gets to do both, but it won't score this dad of two any points at home. They're just like, yeah, like, whatever. Like, even you can be like, Lando, this is daddy. And he's like, oh, whatever. Like, he doesn't really, it doesn't affect anything yet. 